everyone we see another example all integers are rational numbers some integers are powers of 2 therefore some rational numbers are powers of 2 okay so in order to solve this so uh, yesterday we discussed about uh, four rules right universal specification universal generalization existential specification existential generalization so in order to solve this first uh, uh, we elaborate this so let me take p of x so p of x is x is integer r of s x is rational number s of x x is power of 2 ok so here first I said that all integers are rational numbers ok so all integers means for all x so integer means p of x implies r of x comma so this is one premise some integers are powers of 2 so some means there exist x p of x and s of x ok and what is the final conclusion therefore some rational numbers are powers of 2 so some means there exist x ok rational number means r of x and powers of 2 means s of x so what are my um, rules here the first one is for all x p of x implies r of x and next one is there exists x p of x and s of x and finally from that we should conclude that there exists x r of x and s of x now let us solve this and finally we should conclude r of x and s of x so there exists x p of x implies s of x and for all x there exists x and uh, uh, what is the another one p of x uh, and s of x right so let me take the uh, premise first i am taking there exists x p of x and s of x so this is already given right premise so root p so this is 1 and 2 is and this is universal sorry existential specification right so here i will get p of y and s of y so p of y and s of y ok so what is existential specification if I have there exists a of x we can conclude a of y so in that manner I will conclude p of y and s of y so this is rule t comma existential specification on 1 ok so what is 3 here I will get p of y rule t and we have that p and q i can write it as p in the same manner i can get s of y rule t and same p and q i can write it as q so like that p of y and s of y i am writing it as p of y one time and s of y another time right and fifth one p of for all x, p of x implies s of x. So this is already rule p. Right? So I will apply universal specification rule t on 5. So what do I get? p of y implies s of y. So p of y implies s of y. Okay? So this is p of x implies r of x. So from that I will get p of y implies r of y. Okay. So if you take 7, 3 and 6. So I have p of y here. I have p of y implies r of y. From these two I may get r of y. So what do I get? r of y. Right. So p 
of y implies r of y and p of y. So 3 and 6, I will get r of y. And 8. And what is my conclusion finally? My conclusion should be p of x and s of x. Okay? So my conclusion is there exists x r of x and s of x. Here I got r of y and here I have s of y. Right? So here I will write r of y and s of y. Okay? So 4 and 7 and I have p comma q. I can write it as p and q. So we have some identity rules, right? From that I can write r of y is there, s of y is there. So I can combine this to R of Y and S of Y. Okay? And finally, I should get there exists X, R of X and S of X. So here I, I have R of Y and S of Y. Now, I will use existential generalization. So this is existential specification. So here, what is existential generalization? If I have uh, A of Y, I can write it as there exists x, a of x. Okay, vice versa. Of universal specific, uh, sorry. Existential specification vice versa is existential generalization. So from this I can write, there exists x, r of x and s of x. So this is my final conclusion, right? There exists x, r of x and s of x. Okay, so I hope you understood the example. Okay, so previously I already explained one example, so this is the second example. So, please let me know in comment section if you want more examples. I hope you, I cleared your, I cleared the concept. So, that, so watching my channel for the first time, I request you to please subscribe my channel and please share my videos to your friends and well wishers and please support our channel in all possible ways. Thank you, thank you very much and have a wonderful day.